Hi, this is Robin Bremer. I'm the author of the Kingdom Living series and the Kingdom Living Bible Study Course. And that's a mouthful. And today, I mostly want to share with my friends and subscribers and followers on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. And I want to ask you, how healthy are you? How healthy is your body? How healthy is your spirit? And how healthy is your soul? And today, I just want to I just want to share from my heart some things, some things that I've been excited about, some things I've been wanting to share with you. And one of those things, the first thing I want to go over is how healthy is your body? I know that I have seen ministers lay hands on hundreds of people. And I know that when I lay hands on people, when I minister to people, it wipes me out. It's like it sucks everything out of me. And it's a very tiring thing. And God told me once, he said, I want you to do everything I called you to do and for order in order for you to do that you have to get your body in the best shape you've ever been in your life you have to exercise you have to eat right um, and get your body in the best shape it's ever been in order to do the ministry that I called you to do and that has been extremely challenging to me because in the last four years I've gone through menopause and if you've gone through menopause you know it, it is not fun I thought I thought the first, it happened July 4th in uh, Texas was the first day of menopause. And the reason I remember that is because I didn't know if I was being possessed or uh, attacked by demons or what it was the most awful, horrible experience I've ever experienced in my life, the most fearful, because I didn't know it was menopause. I didn't know what it was. And I got into fear. I, in fact, went to urgent care, had them check out my heart and everything, and they said everything's fine. Um, so I found out it was menopause, but I came against every demon. I did everything I knew to do to get rid of this feeling. The hot flashes, it would go up the back of my neck, the hair would stand up across my shoulders. It was horrible. And I was in fear. I prayed in tongues for hours and hours and hours. Fortunately, all the hours that I prayed in tongues built up and results came into my life now um, all that praying in tongues really gave me revelation knowledge and really was an awesome powerful thing but at the time it was a struggle because uh, I didn't know what was going on so in that four years going through menopause and it finally slowing down and, and, and menopause is under the curse I come against it I don't receive it I don't allow it every time I get a hot flash and I still do get some but I get more night sweats uh, which I come against and it's attack from the enemy not attack but it's part of the curse and I don't receive it I'm still speaking against it so having said that having gone through menopause one of the other things that God told me he said is if you cannot control your body by eating right and exercising what makes you think that your body is going to be obedient to you when you tell a sickness a disease or a pain to be gone it's gonna want to fight you and be in rebellion because it's not under your spirits control and those are two things that I think that you need to think about yourself and uh, realize and so he told me those two things and I haven't gone through menopause I struggled and struggled and struggled and struggled with pulling off the weight. I, everything I did during menopause, the first year I lost weight and got down a couple sizes because I was um, eating a lot of fruits and vegetables because it seemed when I ate other things, uh, it just, it, it, it uh, just really messed with my mind and my body and I didn't like the way it felt. And that what that was was I was overeating and God told me to stop overeating that was it was it was hurting my liver and making my liver work over time so that's what that problem was but because of that going through menopause and my hormones changing if I ate right and exercised, I just couldn't lose the weight and when I exercised, it wasn't consistent I was lazy and I just needed a kickstart and I prayed about it and um, I prayed about it and and say, God, I need a kickstart to get this body in shape. That I want to come down to the weight that you created my body to carry. In high school, I was a size 7 and I weighed 110 pounds. So I saw no reason that my body couldn't do that again. And I was staying at like size 10. And I know that size 10 to 14 is kind of the average size of American woman who's gone through menopause. Well, that is not acceptable to me. I'm not average anything. I'm not gonna. I don't believe in statistics. I believe statistics, even though they may be 
fact they are not true and being a Christian a child of God I have authority and dominion over that that is not a healthy weight so that's not acceptable so I prayed about it and prayed about it and one of the things that God put in my face is this ace stuff well um, I checked into it a little bit and I said you know what there's no way that I'm going to take a pill to get to lose weight because to me that was cheating I'm going to exercise and I'm going to eat right and lose the weight but no matter how, I how hard I tried I couldn't just kick start it I couldn't start it and I just prayed I said God you have to help me so he put ace in my face again and ace is um, by Saba which means seven seven main ingredients and he put ace in my face again and so we're talking about body and your body is the temple of God and you need to take the temple of God and make it beautiful keep it healthy keep it strong and God lives in that temple and that's his power and so you want a strong temple so you can minister to other people so and that is my heart's desire is to minister life to other people and so I decided okay I'm gonna try it <laughs> so I tried it and the first pill I took with fear and trembling it's all natural ingredients but it has ca natural caffeine in it. I am not a caffeine drinker I stay away from any um, to me any kind of medicine is strong for me because I stay away from medicine so I'm very sensitive to medicine and I don't drink coffee because I don't like feeling the jitters and I don't like making my heart race in fact I'm lazy I haven't really exercised because I don't like making my heart beat faster and I'm over that now in Jesus name but I'm just being real honest with you and sharing with you some things that will minister to your heart so I took my first pill with fear and trembling and I didn't take the whole thing because I knew it had caffeine in it and I knew that I didn't like caffeine in my body so the first pill I because I was so fearful and taking it I had a little bit of uh, I don't like the way this feels but it might be passable well what I did was I took a little bit more of the pill uh, uh, took the pill the next day and took a little bit more out and that was good I said okay this is cool I can handle this this is great I had so much energy I did so much my appetite A stands for appetite control and energy what it does is it's seven natural ingredients is, um, and it suppresses your appetite and it gives you energy and that is exactly what I needed to kick start me and get me started to exercise eating right eating less um, my husband works the second shift so um, I'm home alone during certain times and I would snack and that wasn't good so I got excited so this was my kick start well as I started on ACE I saw I lost 10 pounds yay thank you Jesus I lost 10 pounds in two weeks I wasn't even taking ACE steadily because I had in those two weeks I went to the emergency room for kidney stones I had ki I never in my life had kidney stones before and two or three weeks early I had kidney stones went into the emergency room because I had no clue what was happening to me I did everything I knew to do um, and when you do everything you know to do and it still hurts and the sickness or disease is still there keep on doing it because it will change you just have to build up your faith you just have to believe in the grace of God and the goodness of God and keep on it's like taking a pill not antibiotics they don't work the instant you take them you take them for a couple days and they kick, kick in well sometimes things happen immediately sometimes they don't but that doesn't mean the word doesn't work you have to work the word so you just stand on the word you keep confessing you keep speaking in tongues you keep praising God you keep speaking the word you find out who you are in Christ and you build up your confession you keep working the word because the word works so anyway I went to the emergency room believing and confessing found out it was kidney stones again so I didn't take my ace because I didn't uh, I didn't want to have all kinds of energy and have my appetite suppressed and be in pain and I didn't know if I could mix that with taking a Motrin which took the pain level from a 9 down to a 4 or 3 so I didn't take it for a couple days so in those two weeks I didn't have ACE every day you usually take it six days and then one day you don't take it so your body doesn't get used to it and then you take it again and so I was taking it three days and then not two days and then one day and so on and my husband I signed up in ACE and he was so excited about the product that he gave away all our pills so I didn't have ACE for like three days and so it was frustrating but just taking the ace that many times I lost 10 pounds and so excited about it because the product is awesome and I'm not this is not a commercial but I want you to know 
that I am selling ACE. It is a good product. It's an awesome product. Get on my website and click on the button ACE and you learn about it and box me or phone me, whatever. Um, but I don't accept phone calls from overseas. So if it's overseas, you'll have to email me. It's just a policy that I have because I get calls all the time for ministry and I just don't feel comfortable with overseas calls. So anyway, so, so, so God told me to get my body in shape. He told me to work on that because my body and my spirit my body needs to be subject to my spirit and I needed a kickstart in that so I'm so excited to tell you that I got my ace today got my ace back I'm back on it I have cut down to a half a tablet a day oh it works great it's perfect for my body never eating caffeine never taking anything that has caffeine in it it works perfect I, I'm starting my exercise program so if you want to know about it if you want to sell it and I'm selling it because it is icing on the cake for my ministry I deal with the spirit and soul and delivering and setting free the body from um, from demonic attacks from sickness and disease and this is kind of icing on the cake it really helps ministry so um, so as far as the body goes you want to get your body in tip-top shape you want to feel good about yourself you want to feel um, confident in who you were created to be and be the person that God created you to be because when you are free to be you it's a lot of fun I get people coming against me saying that you're a witch because I teach on grace, because I teach about the supernatural things of God, walking in the supernatural, experiencing the Bible, experiencing God, and I teach about walking in faith. So I get nasty comments, nasty remarks, but it doesn't matter. I pray for those people. So I love being me, and you should love being you. Okay. Now about the soul. The soul is the will and the emotions. Now. Fear is what it, fear and, and condemnation are the two biggest things that I minister in. I'm on the prayer team at my church, and wherever I go, I pray for people. And I am amazed. God showed me that the number one thing that causes people to be overweight, to be sick, to just continue attracting the same kind of abusive situations spouses, partners, and, and situations is a spirit of condemnation and guilt and shame. So I'm going to be preaching grace a whole lot harder. In fact, I believe that one of the visions that I had uh, when I was praying at my church one day is they have these blue covered cloths and one day a, a shadow or shape of a person, a, a spirit walked over to me, an angel I believe, and covered my shoulders with a blue cover, a blue mantle. And I just recently believe that I found out that that is a, 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 a mantle of grace. Now, I never heard of that before, but I believe that I have a mantle of grace. I believe that I'm supposed to share about the kingdom of God and grace. And God said the number one reason for sickness and disease, poverty, lack, fear, overweight, and all this is a spirit of self-condemnation, guilt, and shame. And that way that that is taken off of you is realizing the grace of God, who you are in Christ. So that's what I'm going to be preaching on a lot of. So um, your spirit and your emotions come under that. And I'm dealing today with the body, spirit, and soul. So the best way to, to get out of that in your emotions is to get into the Word of God, to find out who you are, get scriptures. I have scriptures on my website little note cards that you can copy on uh, confessions and the more you speak out loud who God says you are your spirit is automatically uh, trained is automatically created to bring about the things that you believe in your heart and when you get that in your heart of what God says about you and you believe that then your spirit will bring that about and bring that change about so get so the best way to change your emotions and your will when you get in fear, uh, when you want to sin, is to learn who you are in Christ and learn about the grace of God. And you have to replace a thought with words that are spoken out loud. And these are some of the things that I go over on my website, robinbremer.net. Go to my website, download my free uh, material that I have, uh, download my cards, my poster boards, and all that kind of stuff. Now, in the spirit, your spirit is when you're born again your spirit is a new creature now you don't get you don't 
receive the free gift of Jesus paying for the price for your sin and restoring fellowship with you with God and then the next day you sin and you're not born again you have to get born again and again no you are born again one time when you believe that Jesus died for your sins that he's the son of God you believe one time and then there's a process of renewing your mind and your spirit and learning who you are in Christ what he did for you but you're born again and you're not going to go to hell the next day there's only one sin that sends you to hell and that's not believing that Jesus died for your sins not receiving that okay blaspheme against the Holy Spirit is not believing that Jesus has a clean spirit that Jesus is the Son of God that's blaspheme against the Holy Spirit and that is simply not accepting the gift that Jesus died for your sins okay um, now you can grieve the Holy Spirit by things you say and by things you do just like you can grieve your husband or your spouse okay it grieves them but you're not going to go to hell okay and the other and then the, the spirit the way that you grow in your spirit your spirit needs to be fed just like your spirit needs to be fed you put garbage in your in your body you're going to get heavy you're going to get sick you put garbage in your body by you are number one thing you need to do is protect your spirit protect your heart what what you see with your eyes your ears is going to go into your heart and you're going to believe that like for example you watch a commercial on TV it's flu season these are the symptoms this is the medicine you take but if you take this medicine it could cause this disease and this and it could kill you okay this goes into your mind and you begin to think that you have these symptoms and you begin to get fearful you begin to think you need to go to the doctor oh it's flu season I'm gonna get the flu again and you speak those things and your body and your spirit and your soul bring it to pass so I shut off the TV seven eight years ago I haven't watched TV in seven eight years I watch videos and God has gotten on to me about some of those videos and I shared some of that in some of my other videos that I put out but you have to protect your heart if you don't want to get sick if you don't want to fe be fearful then watch don't bother watching TV because all it does is it tells you um, what to expect in the commercials and so on I don't read newspapers hardly ever maybe once in a while be careful what you put between your in front of your eyes if you are really 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 serious about bringing revival about getting a revival about walking in the supernatural things of God healing sick raising the dead casting out spirits uh, not being fearful walking in the supernatural then the first thing you need to do is get rid of everything that is of the world that influences you and get into the word get on the internet um, get to websites that teach you about these things read that stuff read your Bible pray in tongues get to know God experience God uh, invite the Holy Spirit to in just fill you to overflowing very very important get into the word and feed yourself so I just want to share that with my friends subscribers Twitter YouTube um, your body spirit and soul how healthy is it are you doing things to bring about health in those three areas and how to do it so that's what I'm all about check my website Robin Bremer R-O-B-I-N-B-R-E-M-E-R dot -E -E net um, check into my free resources uh, sign up for my newsletter follow me on Twitter and Facebook it's called feed my people joy is on Facebook and Twitter and follow me on that and tell me that you're following me so I can follow you back uh, and get connected if you're interested in buying ace or selling ace call me email me or contact me my email is Robin Bremer Robin Bremer at sbcglobal.net which probably the which is in the bottom of my website so that's what I want to share with you I just want you to get healthy body spirit and soul and I'll talk to you tomorrow have a blessed day let me pray for you real quick before I get off the air father I just pray for my subscribers father father show them how valuable they are how much you love them what the blood of Jesus paid for them to have fill them with your Holy Spirit and your presence father set them on fire show them how to speak in tongues to build up their faith that it's for them it's for today it's for everybody father show them and give them supernatural encounters just like they had in the New Testament of angels and everything that they had in the New Testament father fill them up with your presence and power and let them feel your love I love you I pray for you you're on my heart especially some of your names come up before me and I'm praying for you and you have a blessed day and I'll talk to you tomorrow